What's going on, my peoples? We are here today. We're gonna be um doing some steamed fish, but today we're gonna be doing it in um coconut milk. That's what we're gonna be doing it today. And um the season that I'm using today, I'm gonna use garlic, uh, some complete seasoning, black pepper, Suzanne tropical. And we're going to use some Cheyenne pepper, right? Now, to get started, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up all my veggies that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using scallion. Um, I'd rather to use this than the onions. You know, same thing. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. Uh, you can cut it up in any form, any fashion you want to. You know, some people, they like to cut fancy and can't cook so at the end of the day it's not about how you cut it it's about the results you know so we're gonna um, use some scallion and then um we're gonna put some green pepper in there we definitely gonna have some green pepper in there um <clears throat> as i say you cut it any form or fashion you want to I like to slide it like this. Green bell pepper. I'm going to use the red um, bell pepper. And you might wonder why am I cutting this, putting it in a, a strainer. Because I've washed these veggies before. And I'm going to go ahead after I finish cutting it. I'm going to give it another wash. Make sure um, it's nice and clean. You know what I mean? So we're going to cut this up and we're going to um, take you through the step by step process on what we're doing here today. I'm using the orange bell pepper or yellow orange yellow whatever color you want to call this this knife is very sharp um, when you guys are cutting your veggies just be very careful not to cut yourself you know look how sharp this knife is folks but we're used to cooking in the kitchen, you know, used to that. Now we're going to put some time in it, you know, you can break up your time however you want to. I just throw it in there like that, you know what I mean? Um, today we're using some tomato. I normally don't put tomato in, in, in fish, but I'm going to put some in there today. Just for that extra flavoring, I'm going to put it in there today. And one of the main reasons why I'm using tomato today, and I'm only going to use one because I really don't, I really don't like to put tomato. One of the main reasons I'm putting tomato because when I'm using the coconut milk, I don't like to put the ketchup inside of it. So I was going to use two tomatoes, but I changed my mind. I'm going to use one. So I'm going to put like. I would say I have like 30 okras. I already chopped the bottom and the top off, so I'm just gonna cut it into three. You can cut it into your desired amount that you want to. I'm just gonna cut it into three pieces today. And again, today, what I'm doing today is, um, you know, I did a video earlier this week where I made some fish, but I pretty much had a ketchup and a soy sauce base. Now, today, I'm going to have the coconut milk base. And um, we are using the crackers today. 
because I just love crackers in my um, steam fish, but that is optional. You do not have to use that. That is so optional. So optional. Now, this is one thing I recommend that you do not have to use. Uh, this is scotch, bonnet, pepper. It'll burn the crap out of you. But we're going to go ahead and use this because we're used to this. We're going to go ahead and use it. Chop that in two. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this wash. Put that right there for now. Oh, one thing that I almost forgot. I like to use, um, I like to put some shredded carrots in it. I'm just going to grab a handful put it in it give it that extra flavor that extra taste that extra look that extra vibe that extra feel so make sure I rinse this out again Today I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to um, pause this video so I can take you guys through the real time on how this is uh, cooked. And again, remember earlier earlier this week I told you guys that you could go ahead and make slices in your fish if you want to. We're gonna go ahead and do that this week just to give you guys an example what I mean. So you can go ahead and get extra flavor in there. You know, um, just and you can do it on both sides if you want to. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just to get the and you can put the season inside of there. You know, and this is something that I normally don't do, but I'm just gonna do it. To show you guys how it's done. So now I'm, I'm going to give my hand a wash. I don't. Um, So I wash my hands, right? Now what I'm gonna do, and I recommend you guys doing this, I'm going to use one hand and I'm gonna open up all the seasoning, right? And this is what we're gonna do now, right? Because this can get really messy. You don't want the, um, you don't want the smell of the fish to get on your seasoning. When you're cooking all that stuff, you don't wanna smell meat on your seasoning. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my right hand to grab the seasoning and I'm gonna pour it, pour some in the hole. I'm gonna pour it, pour some in there, pour some in here, pour some in the hole. Put some all over the fish. Like, do not use this hand to put back on the seasoning. If you guys get what I'm saying. You don't want your seasoning smelling like fish. Because if you guys, you guys know fish got a strong scent to it. I did clean my fish with some lemon. Stuff like that. You know? So... That's that. Now we're gonna use the black pepper. I don't know, I just always gotta go garlic then black pepper. That's just me. You can um pretty much season in your stuff the way you want to.
Rub it on in there. You see, I'm not... Okay, I almost forgot. Okay. So I'm going to use some complete, not too much, because I want this to really be my base today. So I'm just going to use a little bit of complete. Just a little drop, not too much. Now these two things, they pretty much do the same job. I just like to mix my seasoning to um, look for a special type of taste, you know, so you can use one or the other, it's up to you. So now, this is what I'm, this is what I'm really using today, so I'm going to put it all over the fish, get a nice and lovely, lovely flavor going on there. And then um, I was going to use this, but I changed my mind because I do have um, the natural pepper in there. So I'm going to bypass that. Now, what I'm going to do now, I am going to turn on my stove on high, get it cranking, get it popping. Uh, let me adjust my camera so you guys can see the phone. I'm doing this in real time, guys. No, no, um, what you call that? No pausing today, no pausing. So, got my pot right there. So I got my skillet going. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put some butter in here. Get it, get it, get it going. Don't be shy with the butter. So we got that rocking and rolling right there. Remember guys, give this another wash. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot. We're working with a lot of veggies today, guys. I like to eat my fish with a lot of veggies. So, yeah, that's looking good. Yes, sir. Real time cooking, guys. No, no microwave dinner. So we're gonna um give this a couple of stir. What, we, what I'm looking for, I want this to kind of simmer, and then um we're going to go ahead and um So one thing I like to do, I never like to season my veggies with the same seasoning that I use on my meat. So I'm going to use this on the veggies.
a little bit, not too much, not too crazy. Put a little parsley on it. And then add some black pepper, of course. And um, add some garlic. So mix it up. Keep on mixing it, keep on stirring. Right. Now, now I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Slap some more butter in it. Cover that, turn it down, medium. I'm gonna do I'm gonna open my coconut milk now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in this bowl now you could go coconut milk straight to the pot but to be honest with you I like to see what's coming out of a can that's just me I like to make sure everything that's coming out of the can is uh is what it's supposed to be and no surprises so everything looks good We're going to use all of this, folks. Turn it back up a little bit. Slap some old bay in there. <laughs> I'm gonna slap a little onion powder in there. The whole thing almost went in there. Slap a little onion powder. Okay, so now we are ready for the coconut milk to be in here. Turn it back up. Before you put in the coconut milk, you kind of want to get your um your peppers halfway cooked. There we go. So we're good. Now we're going to add the coconut milk. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Nice and lovely flavor, my peoples. Now we're gonna mix it up.
Now before I put in the fish, I'm gonna take one quick taste. Make sure everything is going in the right direction. Remember, you're not looking for this to be too salty. Because remember, we did season the fish, so nice and lovely. So. What we going to do now? We are gonna slap the fish up in here. And um, depending on, depending on how the fish goes, we might need to add a little water. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I did say I'm not gonna pause, but I, I am gonna pause throughout the cooking process of the fish. And I will tell you how long I let it cook for. How about that? That's what I like to see. Look at that. Look at that. That fish is covered. Now we're going to end up adding a little water to this. Just so it can cook down nice and lovely. Now, I'm not gonna, and I just use the um, same bowl with the coconut water so I can get the rest of that nice and lovely flavor. So, let me just go ahead and put some water in here steam it down nice and lovely now the thing about this my people's um i wanted to get as much crackers as possible but i'm not gonna get as much because i i don't have enough room in here but we'll see This tastes nice and lovely with your meal. And with this meal right here, you don't need no rice. You don't need no starch. This is all the starch you need. Got some nice veggies here. Nice and lovely veggies. So we're going to get as much crackers in here as we could. Because remember, the crackers got to be submerged in order for it to work the right and proper way. I put four crackers on top just to hope that it steams. We'll see how it goes. So now, this is very thick. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Just a little bit, not too much. We don't really measure around here, folks. So you guys kind of got to kind of eye your food out, you know. Now we're gonna cover this. We're gonna let it we're gonna let it do its magic for about 12, 
to 15 minutes. So we're going to check back in in 12 to 15 minutes. So this has been cooking for seven minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this on low, all the way down on low and let it um, go through the final simmering stage just like when a plane is descending so that's what we're going to do right now so i turn it down on low then i'm going to cover it back up for about seven to eight minutes let's go and seven minutes later people it is finished you do not want to overcook your fish this is all done so we're going to share this out and give you guys a look at one of my master pieces so let's go and there you have it, my people. Nice and lovely, healthy dinner. No rice. Just some nice fish and crackers. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. I know a lot of people don't like to cook the fish with the head on it, but that's our tradition. Remember to like, comment, and share. Subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.